Hello and welcome back to Terror Hand. Man, it's been a while, but Terror Hand has been busy. Quite busy, as you can see, as we are all of a sudden at the end of fall. But by now, <laughs> these kind of shenanigans shouldn't come as a surprise anymore, right? I mean, Terror Hand is known for jumping through time and space, fabric, continuum, whatever. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, Terror Hand has been up to quite a few things, mainly down below where our new industries are. There, look. Oh, well, you can't see it that well, but look at this. We have workshops here. We have stockpiles over here. And guess what? Everything is set up with the right priorities. You might see something red over here, but that's purely because there's still hauling that needs to be done. Uh, primarily, I feel... Uh, wait, hold on. W what do we have over here? Is it the panels or is it the straps? Uh, they're the straps. It's pretty much all of them are straps. But, as it happens, straps need to be moved over there. Strap a leather on. And, um, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, the gnomes needing to start to haul, so all in good time that will get solved. And that means that with this, you know, the industries are pretty much finished, so I'll quickly run you through what we have got. Over here, we have um, four massive stockpiles for our raw logs. Uh, over here we have some plank overflow stockpiles because planks are also used for scaffolding and well they're used in a lot of things <laughs> so I do have an overflow over here because well you know you never know how many we end up with and um, when I started building all the industries we had like a hundred and thirty apple wood planks but I never gave an order to make that many it's just that you know in deconstruct scaffolding you have leftover planks and all that so over here we have a torch stockpile because as it stands <laughs> I've deconstructed the most of them <laughs> we have a massive massive <laughs> surplus of torches not going to sell or deconstruct any of them but yeah <laughs> there is a bit of an issue so we do have a stockpile for those over here are fibers, wool fibers and cotton fibers, and they both get processed over here at these, well, these are two looms and these are two tailors, and they all are set up with pre-production of everything, pretty much, so all is good. Then, uh, we do have the wood stockpiles over here. Which are taken to these four sawmills, where they're all cut into planks. Next thing, they're taken down over here to the carpenters, where the carpenters make stuff out of it. Over here, you see a special carpenter that um, will make just custom stuff that... You know, we might need at some point, which is not, which are not in the orders over here. And then I have one over here to assign it anything that I want made pronto. So there. We also have a wood carver, and for the first time ever, <laughs> we have wooden statues. <laughs> I mean, they won't see the well, you know, the placement in the grand hall or anything. But it's just for you know having everything. Oh man, I'm such a hoarder. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we have a wood carver here, but it, I mean, right now it only makes statues and well, you know, puzzle boxes and statuettes. Sure, we could make those, but really, for now, I don't really see the point. So we're not making them, but that could change, of course, in the future. Over here then, all the furniture that we make is stored over here, and it's actually a bit smaller than what we had, which was over here, but uh, since I've, well, you know, taken the torches apart from the furniture, I do think that this is enough space, but this is the one stockpile that could need some expansion at some point. So, there. Over here, we have cold storage, <laughs> even though it doesn't look like that, but this is cold storage for corpses. We have four butchers with red tables, so that you don't see that much blood on it, even though it could be there. And um, they are there to butcher all the corpses and body parts of our enemies. We have one with a, you know, a bit tucked 
tucked away here with uh, different colors and all that. That is for all the livestock that we have to butcher. Um, it's over there because, well, you know, a, in a butchery, usually, you know, the killing and the butchering happens uh, in a different place. <laughs> Not over here. So, yeah, it's a bit tucked away for hygienic purposes, you know. Um, so, there. It's five butchers. It's more than we had. But I do think that it's, my, you know, it's what we need. Then, of course, butchering gives all kinds of products, like um, bone products and skin products. Oh, and meat products. <laughs> and, um, well, not the meat, but the bones and the skins are taken over here, where we have our bone carver and we have our leather worker. Now, if we take a look at the bone carver, it doesn't make anything other than one needle. Uh, we had the previous one set up to make loads and loads of statuettes, but see, there is the issue. We had a big, massive vault for all our treasure and statuettes and jewelry and, well, worth goods and all that. And we don't have that right now. And I also feel that a vault, really, you know, a massive safe for all the, well, the loot and the glory of uh, Terror Hand, I feel that that doesn't belong in between the industries. And I also think that well, this Z level and uh, you know the two above are pretty much filled up. <laughs> I mean, well, if we would build a vault, it would be over here, or perhaps over there, <laughs> or maybe here, <laughs> or over here, but it would be like in a corner tucked away, and that's not where I think a vault belongs. It needs to be central and secure, so... Yeah, to that end, I have a plan for this vault, and it's going to be there, because it's like the one piece missing. So, we're going to make that, but... Um, that's not going to be here, or here, it's going to be over here. Now, as you can see, I've removed all the industries, and what we have here is just... Empty rooms with loads of <laughs> inactive torches. I mean, look at that. <laughs> they all got dark flames. <laughs> they don't produce light. <laughs> um, but yeah. We need to fill this up and somehow manage to get ourselves a nice vault in this area. So um, that's what we're going to be doing right now. Um, filling everything up over here. So uh, yeah, I'll make a nice time lapse of that.
so this area is now filled up and usually I would just continue with filling up the whole rest but there is one odd thing I noticed. <laughs> it seems we have radioactive dirt <laughs> and not even that. <laughs> There's also shadows in the radioactive dirt. <laughs> I don't know really, uh, for some weird unknown reason to me um, this earth is uh, lit up, but <laughs> below it is no light, uh, above it is also no light. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> where does it come from? <laughs> Who knows really, but um, yeah, I thought it was quite cool. Most likely it is a lightning bug, and I'm pretty sure that uh, if I would reload the game, then it would be gone. <laughs> but I think it's cool, <laughs> especially the fact that we have shadows in it. <laughs> Yeah, or perhaps we have traps, the spirit of a torch. <laughs> Didn't even know these could have spirits, but <laughs> there we are. Anyway, continuing on with filling up this area.
right, it seems that we have successfully filled up this whole level, <laughs> even the radioactive part of it. And um, yeah, right here, well, of course there is this one thing that we still need to do, but it's only a minor one and it will get done in time. So what we need to do now really, is find ourselves a suitable location for our vault. Now the trading uh, takes place over here of course, and I know it's done instantly, <laughs> they don't need to bring all the goods to the merchant, but just imagine that they would, I mean. You know, just for the whole imagination purpose, you know, seeing how it needs to go to the compound and seeing how that's only accessible from the gatehouse, well, it's logical that the fold would be in this area, the one where you're filling up the very last pieces. Uh, also, we do need to rework some corridors and all that because, you know, I mean, these stairs so far, what I've found during the building is that these stairs are the ones used most. And, well, these stairs are of course pretty close to, <laughs> to it, so, yeah. This will be the big corridor where they'll move down the most. And uh, so that, therefore, we do need to, you know, make this look nice and big and spacious so that many gnomes can travel over here. Uh, rather than having everything cramped to uh, and one white corridors. So that most likely also means that we're gonna rework this entrance and it's most likely going to be like around the vault. So it's going to be accessible from over there. But yeah, we first need to uh, figure out this vault and we'll be digging out some stuff over there. So there we go. Alrighty, look at this, it's all finished. So, um, the vault then, huh? <laughs> the big massive vault that will hold all our treasures and trade goods and spoils of... I mean, some of the spoils of war are only worn items. And of course, they don't belong in the vault. Um, and by the way, as you might have seen during the whole sped up thing, is that, yeah, we were attacked by goblins, and yeah, you know, even though you didn't saw me doing anything, I have, of course, taken care of all their loots and bodies and juicy meads and everything. I mean, I do keep this kingdom running relatively well, uh, I might add. So, yeah, just so you know, just well, keeping you informed. Anyway, um, yeah, the vault, huh? Let's see here. This vault. I mean, obviously for a vault, it needs to have one very secure entrance, you know? And I wish, ooh, what we could do, but hmm, to get that working, yeah. You know, what I'm thinking is a mechanical wall to enter the vault, but to get that working, we would need windmills at some place, and currently, <laughs> that some place is, yeah, you tell me. <laughs> I mean, we've used uh, pretty much all the surface area pretty well. So, you know what, that mechanical wall, uh, that will, I mean, it will be there at some point <laughs> in the future. <laughs> so, for now, we're just gonna have an entrance and, well, just to plan out for this mechanical wall, I mean, of course, you know, um, it must be accessible at all times and, yeah, for that, um, what we need really is uh, a three thick mechanical wall thing. I think, yeah, th three thick. I mean, that will also give a real sense of security. It's not like, you know, the gobby goblins with their greedy fingers can just blast their way through here. Oh, well, they can right now, it's just dirt. I mean, if they can dig with their hands, they can get through. But that's now. Uh, later, that will not be the case when we have three thick stone walls. Oh wow, <laughs> that's 400 squares of storage space. Is that enough? No. 
I want more. I want 600. Wow, that's a, that, that is a lot, but we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make it this much, really. It's just gonna be a big room. Um, you know what we could do, though? We could have one pillar uh, in the center. Yeah, where is the center? <laughs> um, that's a good one. Uh, over here is the center. There, this is more or less the center block. Right, so there, I mean, just visually eyeballing it, it doesn't seem to be centered at all, but, oh, and by the way, now that, oh man, oh yeah, no, we definitely need this to be a too wide entrance, but that's no problem, really, I mean, we can have, make, have that be, uh, in fact, yeah, now I'm thinking about how the mechanics would work, but I think we can still get that uh, working, you know, later on. I mean, the mechanics are far in the future, but still, I'm already worried about it. Now, uh, you know, nice pillar in the center, big one, you know, a supportive pillar, really, that holds the roof up. <laughs> Quite important. Uh, so, there. Alright, let's, let's have our gnomes dig this vault out, shall we? Oh man, I mean, one has got to love our miners and our vacuum cleaners and all. I mean, just look at how quick that whole operation went. Especially when Infectum joined the club and it was like... <laughs> done. <laughs> wow, oh, that's good, man. Our miners are pro and king and best at what they do. Right, so we have the vault here. Um, really, all it takes is a stockpile to set up. So I'll quickly set that up right now. Balls. I just derped up here. <laughs> I don't need it to be at the edges. No, we need one tile in between. Derp derp. How long have I been playing this game? It's been like more than a year now and I still make these rookie mistakes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> anyway, I'll set it up right now. Alright, that's done. So, we now have a vault. Very good. And, as one can see, we are right now also at the 11th day of winter, which is quite good. Because right now, uh, of course, our industries, they're all finished. So, ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. No, but all our industries are finished. Now, we did this with the one purpose of, you know, stylizing it. And, uh... Well, so far, the style has been the same as the previous one, where everything is still in a big dirt cave. <laughs> Granted, more species, more better looking designs, you know, better layout. Doesn't not, it's not really more efficient as there is more space in between stockpiles and workshops, but it looks very nice and slick, at least in my opinion. But yeah, <laughs> dirt and <laughs> raw marble, <laughs> this is not what we wanted to do this for. The thing is though, as you can see, <laughs> yeah, we have zero pine logs. You know, building all the crates and all that just took forever to get it all sorted, really, you know. Um, well, and it took also a crap load of planks, and planks, you know, are made out of logs, and yeah. <laughs> that took up all our logs, and I do think that, you know, once spring arrives, then there isn't much more that needs building uh, from pine logs, it's just that we more or less ended up with the zero, and then winter came, and as we also all know, <laughs> in the winter, the trees don't grow. I'm also wondering why these straps aren't being carried to where they need to be. We have 64 two-handed ogre leather straps, and they need to be in this very stockpile. Oh, there's the regular ogre leather straps. I did not want those in there. I thought it was... No. Crap. <laughs> Balls. I thought I was very specific about this, that I only want two-headed ogre leather straps in there. Not every strap, just the two-headed ogre ones. Let me see, do we have a merchant still wandering around? No. 
balls. <laughs> Alright, well, well that will get sorted when we have the next merchant coming. I'll sell all the ogre leather straps, we don't need those. But yeah, right now um, we have a vault and well that means that pretty much everything right now is done. In terms of building and digging and look, <laughs> our gnomes are now having a well earned break from digging. Even I, I'm sitting with the subjects, you know, having a chat about the plans for Terror Hand, how beautiful the industry will look and how how cool it will be once we have the proper great hall not this old cramped it looks it looks good but you know i mean there are quarters out there that are looking much better so yeah oh man they're discussing it right now look at the joy i also think it's quite curious how they just keep on changing seats as if they're like very awful seats to sit on and they have to change and walk every now and then just keep action into uh, the great hall but yeah <laughs> i mean look at this man there's not even enough chairs and i'm not going to invest anything in this room anymore we have a better one coming soon tm now another cool thing over here i mean this is the drain and uh of the mushroom farm we need that one but i think that this is pretty neat to have a secret entrance to it you need to like wiggle yourself just around the uh you know the stairs and this um this corner block over here to get there you know if you were just exploring here just on sight oh <laughs> we have mans <laughs> let's say hi to the mans oh <laughs> the game froze there oh wow <laughs> yeah for some reason the mans are not affected by our trickler <laughs> they can just walk over it you know i don't really know why that is the gobby goblins uh, they are affected but <laughs> since mans are pushovers now anyway <laughs> I mean, they can come charging in with like 13 and we kill them. <laughs> it's not an issue at, at all. So yeah, pretty good. Now, um, yeah, so right now we, like I was saying, we have pretty much everything built and, uh, oh, you know what? You go back to training now, bro, Changs. Um, we, you know, you're not needed over there anymore. But yeah, we have done pretty much everything in terms of digging and uh, setting up rooms and all that. We need to stylize things and come spring we will start to do so. But until it's spring, that's gonna be for next time when we play more Nomoria. No